Hello wonderful viewers, my name is Stephen Mensa, a graduate student of the University of Ghana. I come to you once again with rich academic content to help you go about your research activities. As part of the many videos that I have uploaded on YouTube to assist you have a certain level of convenience going about your academic work, I add this one and this one is going to talk about how to check for plagiarism using the Tenetin software in the Sakai. So this is actually going to help University of Ghana students to check for plagiarism report before they actually send their work or send their research materials or research assignments to their supervisors to go through or even to their lecturers to go through. It helps you, it gives you the confidence level to to, to submit your work at, at a certain level of you know degree that you know that this work um, has been paraphrased and um, summarized or quoted um, correctly. So let's quickly set the ball rolling um, and go straight to the point for, for this session. Um, so as a University of Ghana student, you have the um, the opportunity to assess your materials on Sakai and if you know if you've not heard of Sakai and then this video is is, is is the first point to you know introduce you to Sakai so you go to the Google link which we have already here or you can even use the button over here to search for it so for me mostly I go straight to the point by you know typing in UG Sakai UG Sakai then you press on enter so it will load. When it loads, you, you are going to see an interface like this. So you have Sakai Gateway Welcome. So you click on it like this and you wait for it to um, load. As it does, it will take you to another interface where you have username here and password here. Then you have login here. So as a University of Ghana student, the system has already you know added you to the Sakai uh, um, platform so you come to your user ID and you type in your index number as I have done because I'm a student of the University of Ghana this has already been you know captured and because I also often go to the Sakai platform so this is my student ID and here you enter your five digit pin every University of Ghana student has a five digit pin so you also um, type in it over here into your password then you go to login so you click on login and you wait for the system to 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 load when it does you're going to have an interface like this so you have your home you have your overview here you have your profile membership calendar resources announcements website preferences trusted applications account now for the purpose of this you know video we're going to focus on um tenetine. that is that is the essence of this video um, other videos will come to talk about um, other sessions of you know our academic you know life so for now let's focus on this one so when you click on um, the login and it takes you to this interface I mean this video is actually um, leading us to how to you know um, and register for the 1018 platform then we will look at how to also um, check for plagiarism so if you come to the system you have what you call here membership if you have not registered for the Sakai for the 1018 system you have to go to membership so you click on membership so you click on membership so for the Sakai system I, I, I've already said that um, immediately you register for a course the system automatically picks your details so you don't need to register for Sakai differently from your academic you know registration no 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 when you register for a course online on the MIS web the system actually registers you for Sakai automatically so when you go to membership there's membership that you've seen here highlighted in yellow you have seen membership over there this one so when you go to membership and you click on it this interface comes so you have membership here my current site which is all the site that you've joined on Sakai earlier on this is my official course enrollment and this is joinable site for the purpose of registering for Sakai our interest is on joinable site so you go to joinable site then you click on it and wait for it to you know load 
when it does there is a lot of you know website over here so this 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 is for different purposes on sakai because i have already registered for the 1018 system that option is not here but i will show you one thing on at this place and as part of this you know site you are going to see what we we, we, are, we call rcom rcom i'll show you the the full you know um, spelling later rcom when you see rcom over here you go to join now when you see rcom here you go to join now immediately you you join now onto the rcom platform it means that you have registered on how to check plagiarism using the 1018 system in sakai so rcom will mostly be here be here so when you see it for example here we have the um g s p h whatever whatever you come to join now it means that when you join now you join this website this is not our interest anyway this is this is um, um ugbs 104 um semester two and all that so this becomes i think it's a course plat uh, platform now because rcom is not here i'm not saying it, 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 it will not be there but because i have already joined as, as a student you're not seeing it here so that is basically how you register for um, 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 the 1018 platform on sakai so you mostly find rcom over here when you see rcom here you you go to join now you have you have the system there try it when you have any issues any challenges you you drop it as a comment on the video i'm going to address them but you will mostly see our come here then you go to join now when you join now then you are free to check for your um, plagiarism um henceforth i hope everybody is okay if you have any issue let me know it through the comment section please do not uh, um, forget to subscribe to the channel if you subscribe and there is any further videos on how to go about it um they are going to you know automatically get a notification for you to access the next session of this video which which is the part two of this video will lead us into how to um, um, um insert in your um, word document for the system to check for plagiarism for you kindly subscribe let's do this let's keep on doing this let more students join and i mean everybody will be okay thank you so much